it's, it's fun. It's really, really, really fun. This is the message that 16-year-old Bridget Berman would like to give to her friends and peers about science. Berman is one of the three youngest scientists to ever contribute to a mission aboard NASA's DC-8 Flying Laboratory. The Hayabusa reentry observation mission began like any other. Scientists from NASA and other organizations loaded telescopes, cameras, and computers, everything that's needed to capture images of a spacecraft traveling faster than 27,000 miles per hour. The DC-8 was also carrying three Massachusetts high school students invited to set up and operate equipment that would document Hayabusa's fiery descent over southern Australia. Bridget Berman, James Breitmeyer, and Yanni Carvis had no knowledge of their participation in the mission until they were invited to join just two months before they left. It took me a couple of days to realize, oh my God, I'm going to the other side of the earth and going to be 40,000 feet up in the air to be taking pictures of something that's going to be blowing up. <laughs> it was um, a little bit of a wake up, but a, a nice wake up. Their astronomy teacher, Ron Dantowitz, was set to support the mission when he handpicked the students from his classroom. One of the most important things I think for students to learn about when they do science is to actually do it. It's one thing to sit in a lab and to do a lab exercise that all the other students are doing, knowing that you're supposed to get a certain answer. In this case, we had an environment where students were put in a position of responsibility. During reentry, Carvis stayed on the ground in Australia to take pictures while Berman and Breitmeyer did so aboard the DC-8. There is an intercom system which everyone has on, but nobody was talking in it. You could hear teams murmuring to each other, though. Uh, then the second it flared up, everyone went, ooh, and there's audio from it in the plane, and everyone's kind of yelling, some guy's going, I got it, I got it, and it, it's, it was really just the plane electrified the second it went off, and then afterwards everyone was cheering, and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was like, well, that paid off. <laughs> Dantowitz says he hopes to have the students publish their work in a peer-reviewed science journal next year. After summer, they'll make appearances in classrooms to talk to other students about their experiences. I think a common misconception is that astronomy is just, you know, sitting outside looking at the stars. I mean, it is a lot of that, but it's more than that. It's, it's that if you're interested maybe just a little bit in physics or, or sciences, and let's say you like photography, well, you can put those together. Both Berman and Breitmeyer plan to pursue science degrees in college and hope to work with NASA again someday in the future. From NASA Dryden Flight Research Center, this is Rachel DeLeon.